In this country, we used to have something called yellow journalism, where uh, the press would aggressively attack uh, people that were in power, the government, etc. Sometimes over aggressive. <laughs> Remember those days? Well, no one remembers those days because we haven't had press like that in a long, long time. So now what we have is green journalism. You pay me and I run the kind of article that you like. And oftentimes, unfortunately, Politico has been accused of doing this on many occasions. I don't know why I'm soft peddling it by saying accused of it, they do it. Okay, so they have ads you can clearly see in their magazine and their papers and on their online publication. And then you will see positive stories about those in their morning rundown that Mike Allen sends out. Oh, look at this, fascinating. Good point being made by the Chamber of Commerce in their get together today. Oh, look at that ad next to them to that article, Chamber of Commerce. Funny how that works. Now, in this case, they've taken it to a whole new level. They just cut out the middleman. All right, so they have an article called No, BP didn't ruin the Gulf. Well, that is some interesting investigative journalism. Let's take a look at who wrote that. Byline is Jeff Morrell who oh, is the Senior Vice President of U.S. Communications and External Affairs for BP. Come on, dude. Come on. Have we no bounds of reason? Apparently we don't. They thought, probably rightfully so, they think, you know, nobody's paying attention, nobody's minding the house. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do this. A couple of progressives will point it out and go, tut, 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 and then we'll move on with our lives and continue to make money. Nobody in Washington is going to care. In fact, they're probably going to like it. They all get paid off by the same people we get paid off by. We're going to move on with our lives. There's a recent survey of, of people and the, and their perception of the press. <laughs> the conservatives have done such a great job at propaganda that most people thought Politico was liberal because oh, it's media, so all the media is liberal. <laughs> Politico's liberal. <laughs> they literally have BP's lobbyists writing the articles for them about BP. Media, I pointed out that this appears to be the only article about the effects of the oil spill and BP many years later. So it's not like it's even balanced. This is their one piece of journalism on the oil spill, brought to you by BP. Ugh. All right. So well, let's be fair now. Let's go inside the article. Let's go to the first paragraph and see if it's balanced. Okay, ongoing litigation, uh, Morell explains, and political wrangling over the Deepwater Horizon accident have generated considerable speculation about the size of the potential financial penalties facing BP, how much money will go to the Gulf Coast states, and how the states will spend the money. Lost in all that is a more fundamental question. What impact did this spill actually have on the Gulf Coast environment? So now that sets up two things. One, of course, is going to answer that question throughout the article by saying no impact at all, minimal, minimal, don't worry about it. We're all, it's all good now. Spill, what spill? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'll get to some of the details in a second on that issue. The second thing he's doing here is everybody's talking about the money. God, you guys are so selfish. Now, BP, of course, spilled all that oil because they cared about the environment. Their, their real concern is the environment while you guys are all worried about the money. BP doesn't care about money at all. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah about how much will BP pay. Ignore that. Well, wouldn't that be convenient for BP? All right, so tell us about the evidence, Jeff. Um, the evidence to date shows Gulf environment is rebounding and that most of the environmental impact was of short duration and a limited geographic area. Well, golly gee, it turns out BP, who did this spill, thinks that it's a limited geographical area, short duration, no big deal, don't worry about the move, money, let's move on. And then he goes on to give incredibly slanted, biased, obviously he's the BP spokesperson, point of view on how it's not that big a deal. And he talks about, oh, it just got many different factors for uh, why the ocean just kind of swallowed it up and look away now, right? So. I like one part of it though, because he said, the first was the Gulf's inherent resilience as to why it's not a big deal anymore, okay? Natural oil seeps release up to the equivalent of nearly six Axon Valdez spills in the Gulf each year. And microbes in the Gulf have adapted over time to feast on oil. <laughs> you see, they did the Gulf a favor. They're feasting, all the microbes are like, oh, yummy for my tummy, oh, thank you, BP, really appreciate it. What a wonderful poo-poo platter you've given us here. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't know it was going to be this good for the Gulf. And I love the brazen, like, we could have spilled six times as much as the Exxon Valdez, and you still would have been fine. The Gulf would have enjoyed a nice um, buffet. <laughs> so we could have done worse. Oh, great. <laughs> we really appreciate that. 
but look, BP writing this makes perfect sense. I don't begrudge Jeff Morrell doing that. That's his job. That's literally his job, right? Political running it. <laughs> journalism? Journalism. We're talking about journalism? Come on, man.